Welcome true believers and newcomers alike, what it do guys, Majime here, and today we're going to be playing Iron Man on the PSP. Getting right to it, and we're going to use this as an opportunity to see what is similar to the movie and what is dissimilar, since this came out on the exact same day as the Iron Man movie back in 2008. Alone in a cave, surrounded like a by pizza weapons. Cutter. That is a very poetic way to die. Oh, there he goes again. Give it you a rest, Shakespeare. Tell, it actually uses the same voice what cast the from the movie, and I don't think they do that very often. Is it the fruit of his or numbers? this might actually be the only one where they did that or the after learning how much money it would cost to do so and time. Is it the person he is? Or the hero he could become? That's so dramatic. Cool. I don't think he had this exact kind of moment when he first made that helmet, but it was still pretty neat. I think a cool thing this game does, in, in that Can top left me? corner, it tells you who's talking. It's just a nice Hansen, touch, and it's in a way that the makes sense because he's got communicators because yes. he's the tech dude. These men were right to kidnap you. You could have built great weapons for them. We're getting out of here. You go ahead now, something you will way. notice a lot I'll is the whirling of the UMD being red and button stop. presses Ready? trust me you'll hear a lot of those and we move with the stick and since this is a PSP game and we don't have a second stick all the face buttons control the movement the uh, well the uh, looking around aspect and you get used to it but it's okay. not perfect it's just a door it should be easy to handle right you're right with the melee button which is both like your greatest weapon, kind of, and an annoying of part of the game, Please as do. we'll probably see very Let's soon. Try this glorified cigarette lighter. Make your way through the caverns. Okay. Now, another thing you'll probably notice was different from the movie was the fact that we just punched through the door instead of blowing a hole uh, with explosives. Take care of those guys. Right there. Since we're so close to this, I believe. Or was it because we're too close to this guy? I don't know. Ah! What's going on? Okay. So what'll happen sometimes in this game? Uh, you'll try to do a, you know, long-range attack. Which, that's all he has. Uh, but if you're too close to something, he'll want to do the melee attack because you're in close proximity to something kind of saw that, although I'm a little confused myself as to what just happened. But that will occur mm, every so often. Vincent, In this level, ridiculous. actually, a little more dead, than the rest of the I game. Stronger than I've ever been in my life. What's that mean? I don't think the, the the thing in his chest makes him stronger, per se. I know it keeps him from dying, which is cool, but I don't think it actually gives him any superpowers. If anything, it's just a big, like, weakness, because if that goes or is stolen, then he's kind of left to die. How'd you survive an explosion? Why did you just watch an explosion? Ah! Dude. These guys have no business using my weapons. And that is the story of the game and the movie. Don't use my stuff for evil things, and even then, like he ends up wanting to use. Oops, <laughs> wants to use his technology and resources to make. Oh my gosh, I did not want to do that. I want to use my flamethrower because it has pretty decent range, all things considered. What are you shooting at? There you go. Yeah, he just wants to use repulsor tech, which even he then uses a a as a weapon. So he doesn't want to make weapons anymore, but he wants to be. He wants to use and make stuff that can be used as a weapon. A little kind of do it, but whatever. And you saw that stunning shockwave move. I will not be using it very often because Jensen, it's hard to set up. And the, the fruits no, of it just ridiculous. aren't as good as just going up to them and punching them or using your weapons. Jensen! Ooh. Well, he's dead. But using your weapons, which levels them up. 
And that's a mechanic that we'll get into in a next mission. Because using each weapon gets them points, experience points as it were, and that levels them up. And you unlock new ones. I'm gonna have to go around this way because we cannot fly. Ooh. I don't know if I would just drown there actually. But yeah, this suit cannot fly. All the other suits can fly. This one cannot. Uh, I guess they don't want you kind of breezing through the states. They want you kind of trogging through. Just, uh, okay, I'm going to get through this. And normally when you get through those doors, I guess you can blast them with whatever weapon you have. But I like to melee them. Save energy. Save ammunition. But in this stage, it, it kind of doesn't matter. Use cover to get closer. Okay. This is more of a, less of a, kind of um, a button, and more of a, this is a strategy you should use, because otherwise you'll be boned. Ah! And the missile guys are by far the worst enemies, because they can actually do damage. These guys, oh, what the? Yeah, the guys just, just have guns, even though they're withstanding my, what? Oh, yeah, all right. Even though they were kind of withstanding my fire for some reason somehow. They're not really a threat. The threat is the guy with the missiles. Yeah, that's a mild annoyance in comparison. So, let me see if I can do this. Okay, that works pretty well. Ah. That turret? Or that dude? Kind of hard to tell. Can I go through here? No, I cannot. So, I have to go up this way. Let me go up here. Let me see. And it's just kind of a walk up here. Oh, that was a dude. One of that approximation thing. It's just he wanted to melee, even though I just wanted to shoot that thing. Which is fine. And one of the few times I'm going to be doing this right there not gonna be doing it often it's not that great nope. otherwise you just do that same difference that's annoying that guy's down but yeah I've seen the movie a couple times in the past few weeks just to kind of get ready for this and to be able to catch all the differences and then I played the game I've already played it once and I learned that it it really doesn't follow the story there's so many differences here which I guess kind of makes sense because since it came out on the same day you don't want to give away all the surprises and all that stuff but you still want to include some cool stuff so I don't know I guess it kind of makes sense but yeah, it takes a lot of liberties. And you probably could have just called this like Iron Man side stories, but I guess they just want to cap oh, capitalize on the name and the kind of fervor that the movie would then garner, which is understandable, I suppose. Make your way through the caverns. Okay. That's cool. It makes me Get to sick the other side. There place. they are. Destroy the last of the weapon crates. That's pretty much all he does throughout the movie until the end when his hand is forced by another character. So by his own volition, he probably wouldn't have done that much. Take care of these guys. What the? Hey. Oh, that's a turret. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. There we go. I don't think we actually have to kill every enemy in this mission. I think had we just gone through here and just start punching down the door. And then you only have to destroy one of these because it just does a, a chain reaction destroying all of them. That You can just skip most of a mission that way. There's going to be a couple times in this playthrough where I am literally going to do that and just destroy maybe, uh, or kill actually, a couple enemies and then just 
go straight there and ignore other ones because that's kind of what you can do and it saves time so mission statistics main objective successful we can move on weapons create destroyed six out of six getting all of them will unlock things like movies or an art gallery mm, not too much but if you're a completionist you're gonna go for it crates destroyed new unlockables available eh, whatever total enemies killed now I want to know that that is not destroyed it's not defeated it's straight up killed you killed those guys I mean we set them on fire and you're later you're just gonna shoot them but still I think it's cool that they use that uh, term technological advancement points you can see here we've it's zero down the board except for one because we don't have those types of weapons yet we only have a flamethrower is the suit we got a hundred out of a hundred now technological advancement points think of it like an RPG you get skill points or experience points and once you hit 100, you unlock an upgraded version or a new one. Uh, so we just unlocked the Mark II suit.